Hey, hey, Tony guys in here. Y'all know I gotta get my little video in. Now, I got me this massage chair over there. <laughs> Man, that thing be putting me to sleep. And what I'm doing when I'm in that massage chair, I got it from Costco. I listen to the uh, to the Bible doing that, that thing in a year, Bible in a year. And uh, after this, I'm gonna be releasing some more videos in the ghost writing. Now, I told y'all for, for several years, I've been ghost writing books for people. And started out first one free after I wrote my book. So you gotta understand that anything you do, you can consult someone else to do it. And a lot of people don't realize that. And we get, we afraid to charge for our services, for our time. So I was ghostwriting books for $10,000. And that'll give you like a 100 to 150 page book. It's annoying, it's not that easy. But you listening to somebody's story, you recording it, you listening back to it, and you typing it out. So if you have written a book, like one of y'all on here have written like seven books. I be seeing a young lady writing. If you've written a book, you could write somebody else's book. And it doesn't, so I did a ghostwriting course where I'm teaching you my, my strategies of getting clients and how to go about it. It's on TonyGashensAcademy.com. So make sure you go there to where if you like to write, even if you haven't written a book, if you've read a book, if you like to write, you got to realize the dope boy in your neighborhood, in your city, your cousin who sells drugs, he looking for purpose. He want to write his story because he want to help the youth avoid what he's going through. Your cousin who just got out of prison, your pastor, all these people, your doctor, everybody want to write a book. But not everybody have the time, not everybody have the confidence, so you could take and do it for them. Charge $2,500. Next book, go to $5,000. Next book, go to $7,500. Next book, go to ten dollars You So what I would do is I would make about an extra fifty dollars a year writing books. And so that's what I mean by adding a stream of income. Now I told y'all I'm gonna kind of be chilling a little bit on the relationship videos and hopefully we don't know what that'll do with the YouTube algorithm, but I'm not worried about the money and I'm not worried about the vibe, you know, videos getting a bunch of views. I got to speak on purpose because one thing about me is I can't create from a fake space. I can't create from an inauthentic space. I got to create from where my heart is at and what I'm feeling at that time. And a lot of people, they teach against that. They say, oh, you can't do what you feel like. You got to do what your audience want. No, you don't. Not when you work for yourself. You do that when you got a job. When you're a slave on a job, you do what your boss wants you to do for your job. When you work for yourself, when you're doing YouTube, you do what you want to do. You do what you want to talk about. You can't worry about no algorithm because whatever you consistent with and whatever you're doing, it's going to catch on. I say all the time, I used to think Soldier Boy music was the worst music in the world. I was like, wow, what is this? It just did not sound talented to me. But look how much money Soldier Boy made. Look how many downloads and streams and how many albums the man has sold. And he was a, he an entrepreneur. He go from business to business to business, but his music had its own sound. He believed in himself until we believed in him too. Superman, what in the world? It just, when you think about it, when you look around, you'll look at anybody who believe in themselves, eventually everybody else start to believe in them. It's, it's comedians whose stand up routine is not funny but they literally sell out arenas. And it's just people going to see the comedians, certain comedians make a fool of themselves. 
It's like, man, you have the confidence to stand up in front of thousands of people and tell bad jokes. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. And so that's why people go. And sometimes the comedians don't even be good. And I'm not a comedian. And I'll be doing seminars and I'll be talking and everybody be laughing, laughing, laughing. I'm like, what is they laughing at? And it was what I've learned, it was naturally funny. I didn't write a script. I didn't have a script, I just was talking. And I realized that sometimes we could have a gift and not even know we got a gift. Don't even use the gift. And then somebody else could not have a gift and use a gift and be consistent with it and end up earning from it. So listen, you gotta get to a place to where you get to this place to where you are working on you. Because we, we want to hear so much about it. One thing I realized, the most popular topic is love and relationships. The most popular topic in the world. So what you will notice is even people who not love and relationship coaches will start talking about love and relationships. If you pay attention, you will notice that. And the reason being is because everybody at some point in our life, every human wants love. At some point, every human wants love. And at some point, nearly every human experiences some type of love, even if it's cyber love, through online dating. And so that relates to every human being. Entrepreneurship, not every person feels built for entrepreneurship. Cryptocurrency, stock market, credit cards, that is not gonna relate to every human. Love is a universal language. And that's why we like hearing about love and relationships so much. But here's the problem. When you're hearing about something, over and over and over and over and you can't do anything about it because if you work on your three B's that I created the brain the brand and the body that's all you can do then everything else is out of your control so if you are working on you but yet you're still not attracting real love you're not going into a relationship. What hearing about love and relationships every day is gonna do is send you into a state of depression. You're gonna to start to internalize and you're gonna to start to feel like you're not worthy and you're less than because this woman or this man has love and you don't have love. And that's gonna cost you. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna hinder your progress in your life from things you could be doing that could be changing your life. So if you drain and you sad over here in love and relationships, that energy will be transferred into your brand building on your job. And so you have to understand that. And Y'all remember, I don't wear my rain when I'm working out now. I don't hear y'all about. So you got to understand that and realize, oh, okay, I feel like I'm lacking over here, so I don't have the energy to do what I need to do over here. And you have to be mindful of that. But if you do what you got to do, that's all you can control. So what's going to happen is, as you're doing your work, Right now, what we need to be focusing on, I'm gonna tell you, love is the greatest gift given to mankind. But what we need to be focusing on right now is that money. You need to be focusing on that money. 
You know why? Because gas prices is high. Rent is high. Interest rates are high. Food costs, material costs are high. But have your, listen now, not long ago, not too long ago, maybe a few months back, my gas cost $3.30. Now sometimes I go to get gas, it's $5.30. So that's $2 more for premium gasoline. $2 more, $3.30, that's 33 cent is 10% of that, right? So to get the $2, you need six of those 33s. You need six of those 33s. So it went up 600%, 600% gas price to increase or 60%. No, no, it ain't increased 60%. Yeah, it is. Yeah, then went up 60%. Now, listen to me now. From 3.30 to 5.30, then went up 60%. So, listen to me. Have your job came in and said, hey, we paying you 100,000, go up 60%. We want to take you to 160,000 so you can afford the gas. No, they have not. No, they absolutely have not. Called you in and gave you a 60% raise. If you're trying to build a house right now, do you know the cost of wood? It doubled and tripled. It everything, the delays, it's so many delays, you're being charged for them delays because that construction company charging you for the delays because it's more time for them on the job. Oh, they're working in all kind of numbers. They're working in all kind of numbers right now because of the material cost. And it's no telling if the material cost is gonna go down. Do you know I have a car? Do you know I had a car that right now, I bought the car gently used, okay, in 2020. Right now in 2022, I sold the car and the dealership, I sold the car with 30,000 miles on it. And the dealership is selling the car for $20,000 more than I bought it for in 2020. How do a car that you know when you drive off the lot, they say you lose 30% of its value. If you want to turn it in the next week, you're gonna get 30% less than what you paid for it. But, and, and I've seen it. But now they selling this car for 20,000 more with 30,000 miles on it, and it's two years old than what I bought it for in 2020. And I sold it because I don't worship material things, because I have other cars to drive, and so I got a check. When I sold that car, I ain't got to pay taxes on that. That's all my money. That's all my money because that wasn't no capital gains. That was equity in my car. So I got a check for $103,000 because I had equity in that car from paying the car note and paying it down. It was like it had become just a little money put up. So now I sold a car and when the 2023 is available, I go back and finance that car. Now that car is going to cost more than what it would have cost in 2020 but I'm financing it, I'm using the bank money, and I got me some cold hard cash that I can invest that 100,000 and turn that 100,000 into a million. So the difference that I will pay by getting the 2023, yeah, that's gonna be $30,000 more, but I know how to turn 100K into a million. So it's gonna cover itself. And then that car that I'm getting is a car that pays for itself. You drive it for free. Because even when you turn it in, they don't lose value. You hear what I'm saying? So, and if you know, you know. I ain't giving away the whole game. So understand this right here. A lot of time, 
we don't realize, we don't realize who we are, what we got in us. And so you see how the world is changing right now. It's inflated, everything inflated. It's crazy how you can have inflation in the worst times. Think about that. The way the world set up is to kick you when you down. So you're going through C-19 and you really hear cases that seeming like non-existent right now. Like I'm really not meeting anybody that catching it right now, but it's still out there and it's still going. They're just not talking about it as much. All the mask is ended everywhere. I was shadowing a neurosurgeon. She's still wearing her mask. And when she's going in with her uh, clients. Other than that, ain't no mask required nowhere else for the most part. And so here we are. We go through the worst time in the history of the world. But yet, prices go up and people in certain industries make more money than they've ever made. The government start printing more money than they've ever printed. I know single parents, I know individuals who have a company. If you happen to be a gig worker, like you do a gig on the side, you sew. If you have an LLC, you were able to go to the SBA, the Small Business Association, and get major loans. Get major loans. Those of y'all who know, some of y'all watching this, you a mix of righteous and ratchet, so you got you one of them scam loans. A loan you did not need, a loan you did not deserve. You know what I'm talking about, you got you one. You went in there, and they had no checks and balances, and you put them numbers in, and they cut you a check. Now, for the idiots who did it to the tune of millions of dollars and went and bought Lamborghinis and Ferraris, they in prison right now. But for the everyday person, all of us was able to go get 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $80,000 with no checks and balances. The US was printing money to prop up the economy because they know that financial literacy is not taught in the classroom. So they know that 99% of Americans are broke minded. So they know if they print money and they give us the money that we're going to go buy clothes, shoes, cars, computers, televisions, they know that 99% of Americans are not going to take that money and go invest in the stock market and let that money sit for 30 years and then cash out in their retirement. They know that. And so what the system does, they print the money, <laughs> just paper. You go, you get the money. So now you get the money. Not only do you got to pay the money back, so they just give you a loan, but you go and you buy a computer. When you buy the computer, you pay taxes on the computer because the chip shortage and because of the material shortage, the computer costs more. So now you pay more in taxes. The company you bought it from, they get your money, but they have to pay taxes on the money that they have earned. And then out of your paycheck, they are taking taxes. If you own a home, they still charging you property taxes. So now you being taxed all the way around off of this printed paper. And guess what? If your skills are still the same, you're going to be up a creek without a paddle. If you don't learn how to create, if you don't learn how to slang plates at your apartment, that oxtail you know how to cook, that got to be, you got to go on Fiverr, that's F-I-V-E-R-R.com, or you got to go on Etsy, E-T-S-Y, 
www.facebook.com and you got to go on there and get a flyer design with your menu or go on canva.com c-a-n-v-a you probably want to go to a professional because I don't want to eat your food if your flyer look raggedy but if your flyer look good I'm going to trust that you clean so spend that $20 on Fiverr to get your flyer made and you could be selling me anything you could sell me home stitch blankets crochet blankets you could sell me uh, custom design rocks that you done painted you could sell me custom design water bottles flag hydro flask with my favorite team on it get creative now i mentioned food that's the hardest thing to sell probably because people don't trust that your nose hairs ain't falling in there your, your eyebrows ain't falling in there your lashes ain't falling in there little strands of that weave ain't falling in there people don't know what you do with your hands so and then do i try to tell my cousin because he a chef i'm like I, I want to tell, I told my sister to tell him, like, listen, you got to be clean, man. You got to have your beard trimmed up. You got to keep a haircut. You got to have your face routine. And you got to have nice, nice clothes, nice shoes if you want people to ingest your food. And so you are the product. People not, it's just like this. You see me on a treadmill. Now, this is just the time that I have to shoot the video. When I was not on the treadmill and not working out, you weren't seeing me shooting the video from the treadmill. But the way my schedule is set up and I got so many courses to produce, guess what? I gotta earn income. So I gotta produce courses. The courses that I have sold, I gotta make sure that the content is in the courses and the content is going out. So when I get done shooting this video and I get done working out, I go take me a shower, change clothes, and then I'm gonna go shoot my courses. So now that's my daily work. Then I can come to you and say, hey, I got this master course. Here you go. And so then boom, you take the master course. Master class is $25. If 100 people get it, then that's $2,500 to my income. That could pay bills. You see what I mean? But I have to create. What do I know? I have over 50 streams of income because I know how to scale my gifts and my talents. So because I know how to do that, not everybody knows how to do that. So what I'm gonna do today or tomorrow is shoot a one hour masterclass on adding streams of income because I have proven that I know how to do it. And I'm gonna charge $25 so that it is an amount that you cannot complain about that if you complain that and say you did not learn when you are being taught about additional streams of income from someone who has multiple streams of income and who earns from those streams of income, then you are lying. Now, if I charge a thousand dollars, now I gotta give way too much content for you to ever consume. So you actually never take action. That's what they do to us in college. Because they charging us tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars, they load us down with all of these classes that we'll never use. So if some people never finish college, like me. Never finish college because you overload it with a bunch of unnecessary classes that you're never gonna use. Instead of just the classes you need for your career path. And that's what some course creators do. To make, to justify the price they charging, they give you a whole bunch of fluff. See, I want you to be able to listen for one hour and then take action. Just like that. I want you to be able to activate. Because it's simple. It's not easy for some people, but it's simple. Because here's the thing. Whatever you can do, it's all about presentation. It's all about presentation. So listen, when you look at me, because I took and got braces, it makes my mouth moving a better presentation. If my teeth were brown, if I did not take care of my teeth, 
It would be hard to watch me talk if I did not take care of my skin. And I came on here and I'm not taking care of my skin. And I had a face full of acne. And I'm not talking to you about the acne and saying, hey, this is what I'm doing for my skin. Follow me on my journey, my skincare journey. If I'm not turning that into content, it's going to be hard to listen to me. Because you're like, man, we know that could be genetic, hereditary. A person could wash their face three times a day and still have cystic acne or something. But that needs to be talked about. It needs to be explained. Now that's content. Now that's earning money. But if I just came on here with bad teeth, bad skin, a rough, raggedy, scruffy beard, I'm gonna go, I might hit these grays on y'all. Look, it just take a couple years off of me. And it's gonna be hard to listen to me. Because it's like, how can you help me get my life in order if your life out of order? That's why I tell you, the brain, get the knowledge. The brain, work on you and your body. Take care of you. So it's just like, we have to understand it's about the packaging. So you could have cubic zirconia in a Tiffany's box and you will outsell somebody who is selling diamonds in a brown bag all day long because that Tiffany's box represents presentation. So you have to become the Tiffany's box. When you first get started, you are going to be cubic zirconia, meaning you're not gonna know what you're doing, you're not gonna be that good at it. But as you are refined, and as you keep doing it, you're gonna get better and better. Do you see how I'm talking to you while I'm walking on an incline walk on the treadmill, I'm dripping sweat, and I'm talking to you without using filler words, and saying like over and over, and you know, and saying right at the end of everything I say, like what motivational speakers do. It's because I've been doing this, so I'm getting refined. I'm being refined, and it's making me better and better to where I can do it without overthinking about it. So now, if I have a good presentation, if I get a logo, if I get a website, and I actually know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm talking about, now I become the diamond in the Tiffany's box, instead of being the diamond in the brown bag. Now see, it's also about choice. You gotta choose what type of audience you want. So when you look at some motivational speakers, uh, like a Eric Thomas, he have a big team. Even from the beginning of his career, he's always had eight staff. I know Eric and I know his manager, CJ. I've always worked alone. CJ has always teased me about that. Hey, Mr. Solo. Hey, Mr. Solo, man, let's do a cruise together. Man, let's do this together. Let's do that together. And I'm like, nah, bro. I'm on a solo mission right now. He said, man, we got eight staff. I said, okay. Yeah, that's, that's dope. I work alone, bro. I write all my own copy. I shoot all my own courses. I shoot all my own videos. I do it without editing. And the reason why is because my personality type, I'm an introvert. So I don't want a bunch of team. I don't want a bunch of staff. I don't have a manager. I don't have none of that because I have a mission and a call and it got to be done the way God tell me to do it. And I don't want this opinion, that opinion, that opinion, that opinion, I want one opinion. I want one opinion. So my personality type, that don't work for me. My mission and my vision, that don't work for me. For other people, it's great. And it'll make them millions of dollars because the video is gonna be edited. It's gonna have music, gonna have stuff coming in. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's gonna be all nice. So they're gonna blow up and they're gonna build really big. But guess what? You got to manage people. You got to manage people. You got to keep people from stealing. You got to keep people from uh, stealing money on the clock. You got to keep people from selling your brand secrets, from taking what they know and learn from you and giving it to somebody else. You got to, you got to manage people. So if you cool with that and that's what you want to do, okay, great. You also got to split your money. Now, yeah, you can make more money, but listen, 
I earn seven figures. Seven figures is seven figures. Meaning a million dollars or more in a year, a million, seven figures is seven figures. And so when you look at it dollar for dollar, if somebody earned four million, but they got to pay 10 people, I'm actually making more money than them if I'm earning, if I'm earning two million and I ain't got to pay nobody. You see what I'm saying? And so me, I want to live out of my money. And the only way I'm gonna hire somebody is they literally show me they could do something that I cannot do. Or they could do something that I don't have time to do. Or they could do something that the audience requires me to do. Or that the audience needs. But guess what? If I could move up towards 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, when you get a plaque for 100,000 subscribers, and if I'm going on 400,000 subscribers, shooting from a cell phone, in my day-to-day -day life, driving in my car, walking on my treadmill, shooting from a cell phone, uploading the video from my cell phone, no editing, no custom thumbnail, and get a million views a month, why am I gonna change that? Why am I gonna pay a videographer thousands of dollars a month and an editor thousands of dollars a month when it's called YouTube. It's not called produce tool. It's not called edit tool. It's called YouTube. The people want you. Yeah, the editing and all that look nice, but you still gonna get views just you. And so if you could cross a hundred thousand without editing, it's like you have built your tribe. You done built your type of people. It's some people that they have ADD, ADHD. They have different learning uh, specialties to where they need graphics and they need all of that. But then there's another group of people who their attention span is great and they are deep divers. They want a 30 minute video. When I come on here, they told me, do your video seven minutes or less because a person's attention span is seven minutes. I said, no, I got to do what I want to do because it got to work for me because I want this to be a Bible of wisdom when God called me home. I want somebody to be able to come to my video the same way I went to Zig Ziglar podcast and I want them to be able to learn about life, love, and business and become a whole person, a balanced life from my teachings. And in order to do that, I can't just be popping in three minutes, seven minutes, and leaving a bunch of holes in the message. I got to do a deep dive. So when somebody is doing a deep dive in their life, when somebody is depressed, when somebody is down, when somebody need to do a 180, when somebody need to leave a toxic relationship, when somebody need to add a stream of income, when somebody need to change their life, they could go deep. And I got enough videos and enough content that if they want to add my videos to a playlist, they could hit play when they get to work and listen to my videos all day long and get them through that eight hours of work. And if I got a thousand hours of content of just really going in, it's motivation. Not every sentence is going to move the story forward. Not every sentence is going to be ground earth shattering. But it's motivation, it's inspiration, it's education. And so a person will be listening to this and their mind will drift off and they will start to dream and they will start to believe and they will have ideas from the video I did the other day. Two, three, four people that wrote me that they have added a second stream of income because of that video. A, a young lady wrote me and said she is now driving for Lyft and saving for a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Uh, to talk about purpose. You see what I'm saying? So understand that. Now for the sessions, they still open for now. You got to go to mymentor.life. I'll try to remember to put it in the description. And I don't want to talk about love and relationships. Book it for branding or for purpose. Love and relationships, watch my videos. Watch my videos. You know, you done heard it all before. You done heard it all before. You either need to leave or you need to stay. You either shut up and stay or leave. It's just that simple.
It's that simple. Show them to stay a lead. That, that, that's it. That's it. Tell the, tell the man or woman what they what you need. If they're not willing to do what you need, they leave. That's it. That's it. That, that right there solve all our relationship problems. Just like that. Other than that, right now, with this inflation, you need to get your bag up. You need to start selling food. You need to start selling t-shirts. You need to start selling paintings, start selling pictures, start selling posters. Listen, you go to, you go to the store, get you a piece of construction paper. You go and get you three different colors of paint. You drip that, you drip a little paint on that, on that construction paper. Drip another little piece of paint. Drip another little piece of paint. Get you a blow dryer and start blowing that paint and let them colors mix and let them colors spread on out and let them colors go all the way and then you let it dry. You let it dry, then you could come in and put your old lacquer on there, old sheen on there. Then you could go get you a frame and put that in a frame and you could sell that to me for a hundred dollars. Fifty dollars, I buy it. You can make 10 of those on Saturday. You could go on Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y.com, and create your page, create your store. You could pay a little bit of money to have your store boosted, to have your store promoted. And whatever the name of that is, custom paintings, wall art, use your hashtags, use your keywords, do all of that. It'll be people in other states buying your paintings. They'll be buying your paintings. Ain't never met you. Don't know you from a can of paint, but they buying your paintings. And this is what I need you to understand. It's just like that. You might make 10 of them. Okay, it took you one day. They may never sell. All right, they won't sell. If you've been up there on a month, it won't sell. Take it to work. You give the 10 of them away. Them people go home, they put it on their wall. A month later, one of them gonna come back to you and say, hey, my sister saw that painting that you gave me and she wants to order one. How much is it? Oh, they're only $50. Oh, they're only $40. Sell it for something that people can't complain about, they can't argue about. That's one of the problems with people who, when they get ready to do a business, they come in arrogant. Ain't got a pot to pee in and want to charge all this money. Listen, be humble. Start at the absolute lowest price you can charge. You know what I'm supposed to charge right now for coaching? Based on my income, I'm supposed to be charging $10,000 an hour for coaching based on my income. Do you know it's men that charge that? I've reached out to two men for coaching. One guy charged $20,000 an hour for Zoom coaching, one hour, and 30,000 if you wanna do the coaching session in person. Another guy charged $7,500 an hour for one-on-one, -on -one and 25,000 an hour if you wanna do a group session, like bring in friends or families or coworkers. On Zoom now, I charge 400 and $50 an hour. When I get on the phone with you, I'm losing money because I make way more than $450 an hour. But I'm doing $450. It's expensive. Not a lot of people can afford it, but it's still accessible. Enough people can afford it. People who have a vision, who have a dream, people who have gotten their life in somewhat of an order, meaning they have already taken a couple of steps and that's why they can afford $450 for a session that can help them earn hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars with the knowledge and insight they get on that call. If they activate and they are consistent, then it's going to work out. How do I know? Because I'm seeing it happen. So I'm taking a loss I don't necessarily, I don't want to do coaching, but I realize I need to do coaching. I realize I need to find time to be accessible. That's why I open it up for a couple months and then I close it for several months when I can reset and go back to just focusing on me and what I got to do. 
So I say that to say, you got to understand, I'm supposed to be charging ten thousand dollars an hour, and guess what? There, I can get ten people. I can get ten people out of three and a half million people I have online to pay ten thousand for one hour. And you know how they're gonna justify it? They're gonna say, I got a credit card that has a fifty thousand dollar limit. So this is one fifth of that card. Thirty percent. Utilization on that car is fifteen thousand dollars. This one session is ten thousand dollars. I'm still under thirty percent utilization. I'm gonna pay this, but I'm gonna get a million dollar blueprint. I'm gonna have Tony teach me exactly how he do his courses, exactly how he do his YouTube, and then I'm gonna be more consistent than him. I'm gonna be more dynamic than him, and three years from now, I'm gonna be out earning him. That's how they would justify it. So I could charge $10,000 an hour and just say I want 10 people and that's, that's $100,000 a year. But that's not in my heart. That's not in my heart. I'm not that type of person. So what I'm gonna take and do is, I'm gonna charge 450, which is a lot from a scarcity mindset where I come from, that's a lot. There's some people write in and they write back, that is too much money. And I'm always reminded of when Pastor Pope God rest his soul, pastor out of Tampa, Florida. Pastor Post said, one time he was preaching, he said, it ain't expensive, you just can't afford it. I, I said, whoa, pastor, whoa, call me broke without calling me broke, my goodness. But he hit me with that. What he was saying is you got to shift your mindset. He said, yeah, that yacht, that's $4 million, it's expensive to you, but the Bill Gates, that ain't expensive. You got to change your mindset. I say, whoa, I need to stop calling stuff expensive. And I need to get my money up if that's what I want. But see, it was a mindset. So when I took and did that, guess what? Now I, now I look at stuff differently. Now I can respect the dollar, but I'm not finna be, woo, that's a, woo, that's so much money. No, I'm going to say I could earn that. If I want that house, if my kids need that tuition, if, if I need that type of product, computer, okay, what can I create to earn that? If my family need a vacation, what can I create to earn that? And then boom, you go from there and you do it. And so this is what we got to understand. It's a mindset shift, which I'm going to do a master class on that. And... You're gonna hear some of the same stuff in the master class. You're gonna hear new stuff. Cause I talk right off from the heart, right from the spirit. And what I'm about to buy me, I'm trying to buy me an easel where I can write on. Y'all gonna have to forgive me cause my hand right sloppy now. Why, I don't know. Could because I'm left handed, could because how my brain work, but I just cannot write good. Y'all forgive me. Y'all forgive me. They say, they, now they, some people say the smartest people in the world right, got bad hand right. Now, I, now I can't say that. But I have seen people who get D's and F's in class and cannot grasp the work right super neat. And I'm like, man, how you write so good. So I guess the brain just work differently. Some people know how to connect letters, but they can't really comprehend what somebody teaching them in a the classroom but they, that, they know how to draw them letters, calligraphy, all of that. And then some people can comprehend and hear what they being taught, but brain just don't connect them letters right. So y'all gonna have to begin for that handwriting. If I could find a way that I could type it on the computer and it show to the screen typed up, then I'd do that. I saw this one screen, but it was like $2,500. I'm like, Lord, mindset shift. Mindset shift, got to shift my mindset because then I got to take a class to learn how to use the thing and the thing do all this and that and I'm just going to be using it for notes. So it's like, do I really want that? You see what I mean? Mindset shift. But guess what? If I take and spend $2,500 on that board and I put that on my wall and I get me a graphic made that got my logos and when I come up, my logos is up there. I done spent that $2,500, guess what that does? Yes, that's a lot of money. 
but it separates me from everybody else. Because people are not willing to go the extra mile. There's a quote that says, go the extra mile, there is no traffic. Where there is no traffic. Or say there is no traffic on the extra mile. So see, when I take and do that, what that does is adds PV. PV stands for production value. So now, when I increase my PV, that production value, now that make up for me not editing. And see, that's why people edit their videos for production value. And so it is a benefit to it if you got the time and you got the money. See, my life is different on that sense because I say tomorrow is not promised and I don't want to have to shoot a video and then wait on somebody else in their life, in their schedule, and everything else they got. And then next thing you know, they sitting on all my videos and Lord be to call me home. And the video never reached the people. So when I shoot something, I need it up that same day. I need it up that same day because I don't know what God's gonna do tomorrow. I don't know if this is gonna be an altar call and you rededicate your life to Christ and then God calling you home tomorrow or the trumpet sound tomorrow and the video in touch your life and you rededicated your life and you got on the right track today. My videographer who shoot my courses sitting at a red light and got killed. Ran into the back of them. Somebody ran into the back of them in a cement truck. Killed instantaneously. Nobody saw that coming. Nobody predicted that. But he was right with God. He was right with God. And so that's how I live my life. Is that tomorrow cannot wait. Tomorrow coming. It's coming with or without you. It's coming whether you ready or not. It's coming. And that's what you got to realize and understand is you don't have time to waste. You don't have time to be procrastinating. You got to take, I saw a post yesterday on Instagram. It say a single mom took a $1,200 stimulus check and turned it into a million dollar business. That's the kind of action you got to take. A, a young lady named Rashida sent me some body butter. Now, so Rashida, the body butter still need a little work, okay? It was a little too oily. It was a little too oily, don't soak in. But it could have been the temperature it was sitting in on the way here. It could have been the temperature. But listen, keep selling the, the body butter, but keep keep developing. You might need to get with a chemist. I got with a chemist. If you're not a chemist, well, you're not a chemist. If you got, if you get with a chemist, I can connect you with one. For one formula, she charged, I think, $1,200. But they go to school for that and they learn how that stuff comes. But I respect what Rashida doing because she got the bottles, the, the, the little jar it's in. She got a sticker on it. She got a sticker on the top. I put some last night. My wife put some on my arm, put some on my hands. It smelled good now. You done got the smell down perfect. But it don't soak in your skin and moisturize. It kind of sit on the top and it's real slippery. And so you just got to work on that right there. And I put it on my wife's feet and she big on moisture. But what she uses is Kiehl's. Now Kiehl's is an expensive lotion. They got their own little store in the mall. When you go to your best mall, your big mall, sometimes you'll see Kiehl's. It's like K-I-E-H-L-S or K-E-I-H-L-S. Go to Kiehl's, Rashida, and get they lotion, get they body butter, get they scrub, get they whatever. Look at the chemicals on there. What's put in there? Look at the ingredients. Get that texture. Search chemist near me. It might be a chemist right in your city. Go talk to that chemist. Get that formula down. And you got a multi-million dollar business. Because when the product not where it need to be, you can sell it one time. You can sell it one time, but nobody will come back. So you get the product where it need to be, and then everybody who buy it gonna buy another one. So it's just like when I do a course. Because I'm not teaching fluff, because I'm teaching actual stuff that I have done, most people who buy a course, they buy another course and another course and another course and another course. Cause they realize I'm actually really teaching them something. And so that's how you got to realize with the product. Same thing with a book. I write a book, 
Most people buy this book, that book, that book, because I'm really giving them something. So with your product, you gotta perfect your product because what we have to understand is that humans are being bombarded with products. So if I come order your turkey legs and they too salty, I'm not spending my money with you no more. At least not on the turkey legs because it's a million restaurants. It's a million other home cooks. So if I wasted $15 and your turkey leg too, got too much salt on them, your collard greens too salty, uh-uh, that $15 I can't get back now. The gas too high. I ain't got $15 to waste with you. You see what I'm saying? The product got to be right. So we got to perfect the product. And then you got to go to people and you got to realize everybody not hating. Somebody telling you the truth. So you got to go to associates. You got to go to some friends, some family, and get your little focus group. And now you give them all that body butter and say, listen, this is a work in progress. Give me honest feedback. Do not lie to me. Does this make you feel moisturized? Is it too greasy? Is it too slippery? Does it soak into your foot or your hand? How does it make you feel? Boom. You could take and get you a little comment card. See, it's that extra mile. You could get you a little comment card made. For $5, you could get this comment card designed. A four by six on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. You get that comment card, feedback card. You give them your product and you give them the feedback card. When you get that design, you take it to Kinko's or you go to a other printer and you print up 100 of them, 500 of them. How many of the product you gonna give away? You get a product, you get a feedback card. This to your coworkers, you're gonna see them. Say, hey, can you try this tonight and give me your feedback card tomorrow? Boom, just like that. Put them on the deadline. Now you sit down with them 10 feedback cards and you read through it. You read through them. Now that gives you some information. You're gonna find one or two tweaks. You might have 10 different opinions, but you're gonna be able to put that all together, one or two tweaks, and make your product a little bit better. And that's all, that's if you haven't launched, or if that's if, if you're not selling the way you want to sell, you don't have a repeat customers for whatever you're doing then that's a little test you can run. And so, that's something I've never done. That's something I'm telling you to do. You see what I'm saying? It's some stuff that we know to do that we ain't had to do for ourselves. I, I have not had to do that because I'm an introvert and I'm, a, I'm an observer. So that taught me how to reach the heart when I'm talking to somebody. So because I'm an observer, I know how to do a video that will annoy you and make you want to click off the video and leave. And I know how to do a video that's going to speak life into you and that's going to reach your heart and it's going to keep you to this 53rd minute, 54th minute. If you made it here, put in the comments, Tony, I made it. Put Tony, I made it. I'm going to be looking for you. Because what that also is showing me is that there's a group of people and it might only be 10 people. It might only be 10 people, but it let me know. See, because what I know is, is I don't reach millions of people with my voice. What I know is that that one person who will get to this 54th minute, that one person, God can use them to reach 10 million people. God can use them in the financial space, in the literary space, in the arts, in the culinary, in what else, filmmaking, media, God could use them in their space to reach 10 million people. 10 million people got a brighter smile, got a better outlook on life, and may possibly even been be drawn to Christ. That's one thing I know. You know what, I gotta get my life together, man, because I just realized that I done pimp walk for so long, I'm on the treadmill pimp walking. Oh my goodness, I can't take the hill limp out my step. Oh my goodness. Well, when I was growing up, I was too cool for school, and I used—I learned me a little walk, and it took one young lady, 
one young lady, she said, I love the way y'all walk. Me and my two homeboys, we were called the hot boys. And we had this little limp. She said, I love the way y'all walk. Woo, woo, girl, you could have told me that. Nah, girl, you should have told me that. Girl, I'm finna be around here. <laughs> but then when I would see white people, they were like, Tony, did you hurt your leg? <laughs> I said, I said, no, I'm not injured. This is how I walk. It's a white man, um, Barney. Barney, every time I see Barney, Tony, are you injured? <laughs> Come on, nah. You're cramming my style. White women, too. Tony, is your leg hurting? <laughs> like, listen, nah, this just that, this just that. Yo, come on now. Now, y'all forgive me. We coming on to the end. But I just realized I was bopping up and down. I'm like, why am I bopping like this? But I really, it's just muscle memory. I done, I done walked like this for so long. I, let me try to walk straight. I can't even walk straight. Y'all forgive me. I know the word is straight. But I like saying straight. Okay? So understand, we done. We done. The, the spirit left the room when I went talking about the walk. But I want you to listen back to this. I want you to listen back to this. Don't worry about the advertisements. I want you to one night put this real low. Real, real low. Not loud to where it keep you awake, but put it low where you barely could hear it and let it go into your subconscious. Then let it seep into your subconscious. When you're driving in the car, let it seep into your subconscious. Driving to work, driving home, when you do a walk at lunch. Now listen, I really don't recommend y'all walking on your lunch break and going back sitting in the people's chair soggy and just got all the love juices flowing down there and sitting in the people's chair. Just walk after work. But when you're on your walk, just let this get in your spirit. And then what I want you to do is, when you're done watching these videos, take you about 15 minutes of silence to visualize, visualize the expansion, the creation or expansion of your company or companies. You're going to see certain things in your silence that you can create. So I was about to release a post to do a live Zoom for $25. But then I said to myself, Tony, your schedule is unpredictable because you have two young sons. Practices and trainings get thrown on you out of the blue. There is always something going on. Any time that you do a noon Soon, you will be missing something with your family. Yes, people like to sit and look at people while they talk, but you have YouTube for that. They can watch your mouth move and watch your face on YouTube. Instead, pre-record it, upload it. People can buy it on their time, watch it on their schedule, and that way the people who would not buy the live because they have a wedding or a game or they're booked, they will buy the course, the pre-recorded, because they can watch it whenever they want to. So that came to me in my silence. And then I saw a whole master class series. And I'm giving this to you. Some some people they mind don't think like that. <laughs> When I mentioned the WIND Network, I just coached a client in the Netherlands. She just started the WIND Network in the Netherlands. The Woman Improvement Network. She just started it in the Netherlands. Got the name and everything. I said, uh, uh, sister, uh, we'll play the rhythm. But that's just how it is. This is going to inspire some stuff. So that's what I did. So I'm, this week, Lord willing, going to create the master class and get it on out there. And so when you see me promote that in a video, you know this school is in session. And on my courses, if you realize I'm not telling jokes, I'm not on the treadmill, it's more serious, like a school teacher. Whew, I walked an hour, that's three miles. Woo, incline four, and talk to y'all for an hour. See how you could double your time. You could do two things at once. 
See how I did this video and got my workout in. That's a two for one. That's a two for one. I'm, I'm, uh, that's, that's equity, currency on my business and on my body. That's the brand and the body in one. And it's also the brain because while I'm talking, it's stimulating my brain. So that's what I want you to understand. That's what we got to get to. Get to that place to where we making use of our time. And yeah, we're going to have down days. We're going to have slow days. We're going to have spiritual warfare. We're going to have depression. We're going to go through some things in life. But we got to find a way to power through. Got to find a way to power through and get back out there at it. I'm, this right here shirt is a large. You got to got the little sweat on there. This shirt is a large. I'm trying to get my shirt down to a medium. You hear me? I want to get the me a medium. When I get the me a medium, now, now I can wear a medium, but I have to suck in my stomach too much. And then, see, when I finish that right there, I'll come right here and get on this here bench. And I'll just I'll tap out some, some look, just work on that chest a little bit. And I'll get here in this here mirror. And I'll get me a few squats. Get them glutes together. Get them hamstrings, them quads together. And I ain't doing nothing crazy. I ain't doing nothing crazy. That's all the work right there, that hour. Uh, this right here, I might do 50 to 100 reps. And then, boom, I'm out of there. I'm going to shower, drinking me a shake. Might make me some boiled eggs or something. And then I'm finna get to work. And I'm finna be productive through the day. Now, guess what now? Now, guess what? Me doing this, I done got myself to a place of an income. I done, I, I'm able to pay myself. And this, what I, this is what I want for you. Where you can get up and give your day's direction. So how I'm in my gym at 9 a.m. And you might be watching this, but you on a job or you got to be at a job at 9. So you watching this at 9 p.m. I want to help get you to a place to where you can work for you using your gifts. You can use YouTube and make a living off of YouTube. You can make a living off of YouTube. We, I got a YouTube course. In that course, I don't say this on here, but in that course, I show you what YouTube paid me that year that I made the course. I show you what YouTube paid me. When you see that, you're going to realize that YouTube paying regular people with no editing what surgeons get paid. You're going to realize, oh, this is an opportunity. You're going to realize, oh, me cleaning my house, speak and span, I could put a set of camera up and show my cleaning technique. Me organizing my pantry, I could put a camera up and show my pantry organization. Me folding my laundry in a unique way to save space, I could turn that into a video. Me losing weight, me fixing my skin, me changing my life, me building my business, everything could be documented. Everything could be documented and everything could be on YouTube. And YouTube, send me a check. Another one outside of what I'm gonna promote y'all network now. Send me a check, YouTube. So listen to me. Get to it now. Get to it. We ain't got all the time in the world. And now, and hey, now listen. When you get your little reward in your life, I might have to take me one pitch at the beach. I might have to take me one pitch at the beach. When I get my Alps. Hey, forgive me. Got one thing that'd be. Hey, hey, God bless y'all. We'll talk soon.